Salutations, Serious Lees, starting survival, and that's what we're going to do right now. A uh, new survival save. We can't do this yet. It's it's Monday. It is holiday Monday in North America right now, and uh, this is not up yet. We did get a patch today. It's amazing. I saved off on starting this save because I was fairly aware that we were getting a patch probably on Monday from Experimental, and it's through. Uh, it's great. Uh, lots of fixes. There's probably some more stuff that needs fixing, but it's coming. Don't worry about it. Lots of stuff got fixed. It's We're doing great. And I'm starting a new save right now. And we're going to do survival mode. We have 10 more save slots. And I only had four saves at the moment because I was waiting on Expedition 3. Not available yet. Uh, by the time you watch this, though, perhaps it will be. I'm recording this on the Monday, and plan is Wednesday. Could come out any time this week. It could come out Tuesday. Could come out Wednesday. Before this video releases. Who knows? Who knows? I'm not holding my breath. <laughs> I'm just going to keep playing, keep making videos. Doing what we're doing. Uh, this is something I wanted to do anyway. We have to replace the old save we had. I've been thinking... Since it's survival, and it's not too, too, too serious, um, we will lose everything we're carrying upon death. So, there's that. There is a penalty for death beyond normal mode, having to get to your body and uh, collect your stuff. Uh, is that how it works still? It's been a long time since I died in normal mode. It's, it's really hard to die in normal mode when you're fully upgraded. It's just... You have to really try. PvP will do it. Uh, PvP, that works. Ship weapons on a player, they, they kill you pretty quick. Um, scatter Blaster, fully upgraded Scatter Blaster in PvP. Yeah, that'll nail you down pretty quick, but it's pretty hard to die in normal mode. We're going to try our best to not die in survival right off the bat. We're going to try to... Uh, don't want to jinx anything, but we're going to try to hit the space station today. If, if the game would ever give me a planet, you'd just pick one. Just pick one galaxy. There's a lot. Like, look, there's one right there. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay, this one? Fine. Okay. <laughs> yes, begin initialization. Here we go. Oh, had to hold it longer than I expected. Looks like it's going to be gamma, but it could be fungal. It could be hot. Some of the plants on different planets are really weird these days. I think it's Gamma. We have uh, Tox and Radiation. Could be either. Might be Toxic. Interesting color ground for a Toxic world. I still do not have control, and you know what? It's been a very, very long time since I've started a new save. That wasn't an expedition. So, we'll see if I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm going to use lots of tips and tricks. I'm not going to worry about uh, doing it. Uh, you know what? I have been considering doing a semi sort of challenge playthrough. Nothing too strenuous. Whoa, look at that starter suit. Awesome. I love these colors. I mean, that's almost my follow suit that I have on my other save on normal mode. Okay, first things first, I'm going to go into camera mode. Uh, I can't do that without doing this right now. There's camera mode. Let's just make a hotkey for that. Okay, and we're going to back out. We're going to go in camera mode. And this, it lets us put the sun down here. We can see glowing flowers around us. And there's not many. <laughs> I don't see any, actually. Let's zoom. Let's keep an eye on where we are, right? So we are facing behind us right now. The camera is facing directly behind me. We'll go straight up. There's something glowing over to my left over here but I don't think that's anything we want we can take a peek let's look what's behind us there's some oxygen or sodium up that hill okay and perhaps caves over there in the horizon so let's head we don't really want to head that way to be honest let's zoom back in on me and uh, dilly dallying like this we're probably not going to hit the space station but we are in survival, so anything that helps out, helps out. The ship is over in this direction some ways. Because this is the way we are facing. Can we see it from here? I don't think so. 
I really doubt that it's just over that ridge, but it might be up that ridge over there. Anyway, we have some oxygen up the hill there. We don't have any sodium on the way except behind us. Yeah, I don't want to head the wrong direction just to have to turn around and head to the ship. All right, let's make a break for it and we'll keep an eye out for caves. All right, perform a scan, C. Whoops, C, scanner's damaged, yeah. Gather ferrite dust, okay, we can, oh, come on game. Nope, that's not ferrite, where's some ferrite? We need, I think, 75. Okay, we're gonna take some damage here. Yeah, I know. I'm not seeing... You know what, maybe this will be a shield. We're just gonna delete this real quick. Just nanites, probably. Radiation damage? No, just nanites, okay. Um, critical, I know. We're gonna take some health damage any moment now. I see some uh, glowing yellow ahead of us. We just have to not die getting there. Oh, this might actually help. Let's grab this blue flower. Okay, I know. X, recharge, sodium, there we go. Okay, we didn't die. We are probably gonna have to kill an animal to get that health back. And we're gonna have to keep going and getting some ferrite. Because that shield is not gonna last too long. We're either gonna have to find more flowers or more, yeah, more flowers, <laughs> basically. There's the ship, we're there, we're safe. Well, not quite yet. We need 30 something more ferrite, according to the bottom of the screen there. Ferrite dust, that is. There are multiple kinds of ferrite. Okay, we can repair it now. Uh, we're gonna need some carbon. So let's make sure not to run the... We're also gonna need some oxygen, thank you. Yeah, we don't want to run the battery dead on the laser just yet, the mining drill. Not until we can harvest, um... Yeah, I know, I know. Let's recover that radio protection. There's some flowers right there. Carpet. More oxygen right there below it. In a hazardous plant. Snappy plants, as they're called colloquially. Hey, a turtle over there, see that? Cool. All right, that's some carbon. Let's hop into the ship. Uh, let's actually repair that scanner like it's telling us to do. Ferrite dust, there we go. Now we can scan. Collect sodium 10. Let's hop in the ship. Woo, there we go. Iteration, blah, blah, blah. Atlas connection, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Launch thrusters. I'm gonna, just gonna click through this. If you haven't played the game before, this is probably not necessarily the playthrough for you. It's not necessarily a walkthrough playthrough. It's just going to be a play along. Uh, and I've done it before. Um, yeah, connect exosuit. That's fine. I will be compliant. Uh, actually, that's connecting. That's talking to the ball outside there. There's a ball over there. And by all means, if you're new, keep watching. You might learn a thing or two. I'm definitely going to keep talking all the whole time, so I can't help myself. <laughs> Launch thrusters critically damaged. Let's take a peek at that. that. What do we need? Pure ferrite and dihydrogen jelly. We can make dihydrogen jelly, but we need 40 dihydrogen, and we have two. So we're going to need to do some harvesting of some stuffs. We also going to need uh, metal plating and hermetic seal, which we cannot yet get. 
Let's see what the game tells us to do, though. Metal plating, hermetic seal, the hydrogen jelly, pure ferrite. Okay. Maybe now we'll get a... Uh, just going to delete the viscous fluids and stuff. Not keeping that for now. We have limited inventory capacity on uh, survival here. Ferrite dust, 50. We need more ferrite dust for metal plating. Okay, we'll do that. That's what it's telling us to do. We'll just follow the prompts for now. No shame in that. It's just the easiest way. Okay, we're done with ferrite dust. Let's craft that metal plating, because it's telling us to. And let's just pump it right in there like that. Now we need a hermetic seal. And it's going to probably direct us back into the ship, I think. Mm -hmm. Critically damaged. Vital ingredients missing. Yeah, I don't know how to make that yet. Request assistance ship. Tell me how to find this thing. Okay. Search the craft site for supplies. I can do that. Although our hazard protection takes forever to recharge, we're going to have to find some... No, not you. Well, yeah, we'll open you in a second. There, that's what we want. Sodium nitrate. That'll work just nice. Just as nice as sodium. That we could keep, but we don't need it. There's plenty of ferret around us on the ground. We're not worried about that. What do we get from that thing? Something to wrap or sell? All right, condensed carbon all around. Yeah, okay, well, let's eat some oxygen then. Got plenty of that. Let's look. Um, search just rust beacon cache. All right, all right. I want to get in those caves, though, because there could be some nice stuff in there. <laughs> so my idea for a challenge playthrough would be to do a playthrough where I can only progress the game via scrapping things. Like a scrapper ship. Uh, ships and derelicts, basically, would be the only thing that I could do. Now, I'm not going to restrict myself. Like, I have to take my star. I don't have to take my star ship, but I'm going to. I don't, I'm not going to restrict myself like that. I'm going to use a multi-tool. I'm not, like, a crazy person. <laughs> uh, I just would like to do, you know, some derelicts right off the, right off the bat. Uh, it's only survival. <laughs> Planetary chart recovered. Let's use that right away. Because it wants us to. This one is going to direct us to a specific site, but they don't always. This one's a mission-activated planetary chart. The ones we get later on will be for different sites, and they're going to be a collection of things available at each site. All right, uh, because we got some sodium nitrate, I'm going to recharge that now. Let's use condensed carbon there. Sodium nitrate there. How much do we got left? Six. That's enough for one more partial recharge, so let's just head over there and not worry about the caves. And I forgot how... You know what? You know what else I forgot? Oof. Wow. Jittery there, the uh, camera, for a second. Okay, there's some meat. Let's see if uh, five is enough. Probably not, so let's get one more. Oh, sorry, Mr. Fuzzy Butt. But uh, I hurt myself earlier, and you are the cure. Also, have to be very careful about fall damage and low jetpack capacity at uh, the point in the game. If you know how to do a melee boost, you might want to hold off on doing it because you could die. This is survival. You take the same amount of damage <clears throat> as on permadeath. You just don't permanently die. Ah, oh, storm coming, huh? All right, well, now we need some caves. I saw some back here. Do we want to go in those? Now, let's just keep heading out. How far away are we? 600 units? That's pretty far for somebody with no movement modules. A very limited jetpack module. No, no jetpack modules, yeah. This is going to take us a bit. We're already out of stamina again. Uh, six. You know what? Do we have the scanner? We do. There's some sodium right there. The storm actually probably would have helped us see that glowing yellow as well. So we're going to want to consume this pretty much right away. Any more? I don't see any there. Okay. Oh, wait. What do we got here? Nope. Just some mushrooms. Okay. Okay. 
Sodium. There we go. Happy now? We can probably break some of these. Yeah, condensed carbon is amazing early game for recharging your mining beam, so you don't have to use carbon, which is used for other things. Here's some of those crystals we need. Let's grab as many of these as we can. We need dihydrogen jelly, remember? Okay, okay, let's recharge that again then. Sodium is gone. Let's hit the scanner. It's still recharging. Okay, okay. Well, we've made some good progress. How far are we now? A hundred units away? We can jetpack there. Whoops, no we can't, apparently. <laughs> Melee, then jetpack. Save some jetpack for when you're down near the ground so you don't smack into it real hard. Let's get in here until the storm's over. There we go. Talk to this and get the schematics for, uh, I believe, the terrain manipulator? Is that it? No, the hermetic seal. That's what we get here. And actually a hermetic seal itself as well. Okay, cool. Let's recharge our life support with the last of our oxygen. Freed up some inventory spots there. <laughs> All right, let's see what's in this one over here, because the storm's still going on. Hey, we don't need that meat. Sorry, fuzzy butts. Oh, well. <laughs> what's done is done. They're just pixels. They're not real animals. We didn't kill anybody. All right, storm clearing. There was a cave over here, too, we could have gone into. Or over there. Come on. S-Class module. Or any module, like a B-class module, is worth more nanites than we'd get just from this being nanites. Ugh, 27 nanites. See, a B-class would have sold for 40 or 50, probably. All right, all right. Uh, we can't just dilly around forever. What's the next step? Use analysis visor. F, it's broken. Let's repair that. What do we need? Oh, we have to install it. It's not broken. We have to actually install it. Carbon nanotube. See, I, I knew we would need some carbon. Hopefully we just need the one. Yes, there we go. I just wasn't reading earlier. There, analysis visor repaired. Analyze objects for rewards. Now, again, if I'm going to do a challenge playthrough, I probably don't want to get too much uh, money. Actually, if I'm going to do scrapping, I think what I'm going to need to do is get a normal playthrough until I have 5 million units. I can buy my first derelict map, and then that's the only way I can make money after that. How about that? A $5 million entry fee is supposed to just limit you from starting as early as I would like to start. <laughs> All right, I think we have to test the visor on something, so let's scan it on a plant. Is that a plant? Yeah, it looks like a plant. Plants are worth more than rocks. An animal would have been better. All right, locate my starship. Yeah, I, I know where my starship is. It's right over there. No, not that. That, can I not? Uh, I can't target it? Oh, whatever. Let's scan a bird. And head back to the starship. All the while mining stuff we need. I see, well, I thought I saw a putty tat. No, um, some sodium over there. Yeah, okay, let's head there because that's closer to the ship. Let's use the last of our regular sodium. That only gets us halfway. Hey, there's something I would like to grab before I get that sodium. I think it's closer. It's, it's a slight tangent, slight deviation. Oh, and another technology thing. And I want to get this one out of the way because the more of these I can grab, the better later on. And I don't want, don't want to have to go through this uh, animation later. Best get it out of the way now. Oh, those turtles glow. Interesting stuff. What did we get? Starship launch fuel. That's great early game. That's amazing. That saves us a lot of hassle. Now, where's that sodium? Two of them. Excellent. Let's use that right away. And keep heading to the ship. 
nice that it's night. We can get a good view of our surroundings, glowing flower-wise. Nothing in our immediate path. Nice planet over there. But there are crystals in our path. Now, something else to keep in mind is that jetpacking and running and walking, just moving around, costs you oxygen. But the more you do, jetpacking, I think, the most, running the second most, and walking the least. But you're using oxygen all the time. Uh, none of these planets, even the good planets, I think. Are you using hazard protection on good planets? No, no, only on these ones. So we need to maintain our oxygen as well as sodium. Because all the sodium in the world will not help us when we need uh, life support. I don't think. Maybe we can make a battery? No, I don't know. It's not with sodium, is it? <laughs> I think it's with uh, dihydrogen here. Oh, hey, look, there's more sodium over there. Well, we'll recharge that in just a second, and we'll head back to the ship. And we could head underground to uh, to get some hazard protection, uh, sorry, life support from uh, oxygen plants. What do we got here? Hey, well, that I don't need yet, and I'm not gonna install it, but when we get to a space station, that's worth a ton of nanites, so that's awesome. I have nothing to recharge that with, so let's maybe not even run. Let's be a little bit careful. Oh, that was bad. At least I hadn't taken any damage before that, so I didn't lose any health. Yeah, I know. I got lots of sodium, though. The scanner, we can do that for oxygen, too. But I don't see anything around us. Yeah, I didn't think there was going to be anything. All right, let's hop in the ship before we die. Actually, I think we're gonna die no matter what here. Let's go into our inventory. <laughs> we're gonna take damage, I think, no matter what. All right, let's look at what we can craft. Um, life support gel takes carbon and dihydrogen jelly. Well, I need two of these. Okay, let's make two of these. I need four more carbon. Before I die, any carbon? There's some oxygen right there, actually. Let's just grab that, that'll help I me mean, not die, right? X, life support, nine, that's better. There's some carbon, thank you. That should be enough. All right, let's try making that thing now. Uh, no, not the ship part, this life support gel and can we do we need to use that we don't need to use it yet we'll use it in a sec let's go to our ship let's put this uh, this in here hermetic seal let's go to here we also oh okay i don't know what we did properly there or not properly we need dihydrogen jelly and pure ferrite okay so we need to make get in here and recharge stuff uh, we're gonna need to make pure ferrite let's put that in right away save the inventory spot 50 pure ferrite so we need a lot more ferrite dust because we need a metal plating uh, we need can we make a metal plating yet we cannot we need 50 to make a metal plating and then I think we need a hundred ferrite dust to refine into 50 pure ferrite. Maybe it's one to one. That would be better if, if I'm just mistaken there. You gotta keep an eye on that hazard protection. All right, let's try this now. Metal plating. We'll just do it right by the ship. Go into the build menu, which is brand new. Brand new Frontiers build menu. We need 30 oxygen as well. Oh my gosh, I do not have 30 oxygen. 
All right, into the caves. We're going to look for some hazard plants because there's not really a lot of oxygen around here. There. Be quiet, soup lady. Okay. We need hazardous plants, specifically ones that give oxygen. They don't give a lot, which is sort of the issue with them. And we do not have a terrain manipulator, so we can't open up any of these cave widening uh, openings wide enough to go through. Okay, we're about to suffocate, so let's use that life support gel we made. It's a full charge, so you want to wait till you're almost dead. <laughs> All right, nothing in here. Not very deep caves here. At least not ones I am able to access. Like it might open up wider behind here. Very nice purple uh, marrow bulb there. Oh, hello. What do we have here? Did I miss this direction? Yeah, I think I only tried to go in those two directions. What do we got? No, no, I was there. Okay, nothing in that whole cave. Great, what a good use of time. <laughs> Uh, let's try the scanner again. We need oxygen. I used all the stuff there. No hazard plants here. Okay. I think we're going to have to make another... Oh, hey, look what we got. We got some crates. Let's see what we get. Uh, I do need rusted metal for ferrite, but, you know, there's easier ways. Like just grabbing it. Oh, Atlas Pass needed for those. Right, darn. All right. Well, these very rarely have oxygen in them. Condensed carbon, sure, but not oxygen. That's unfortunate. We want the little red canisters, or I think maybe sometimes the yellow ones have oxygen too. Uh, there's a yellow flower. We'll grab that and we'll hit the scanner again in a second when it's recharged. Because I do not... Ah, there's a red flower way over there. And over there and over there. On the horizon are lots of red flowers. Near us, not so much. But there's another cave. Well, at least the lip of a cave. We'll see. See, see how fast that word was to learn? <laughs> All right, what do we got in here? Nope, just, just the lip of a cave, okay. Scanner is ready, let's hit that, jam on that. No oxygen, see, I'm not crazy. We don't wanna go too far from the ship because we have to get back there. Hmm, well, I think we're in good enough shape. Um, I can make another dihydrogen jelly. I do not even have to harvest these. Uh, I probably need more carbon, if anything. But uh, I'm gonna look around for some oxygen and we will come back next time to continue surviving in No Man's Sky in survival mode. Oh yeah, out of jetpack, right. I can't do anything. <laughs> I just want to get that sodium. There's always one more, oh, come on. One more flower to grab. One more hill to climb. And the scanner takes forever to recharge too before you get that 20% reduction technology from the uh, anomaly. There's some caves. Let's see if we can find some oxygen before we go. So people aren't worried that I'm going to suffocate. <laughs> oh, well, there's some oxygen. Yeah, that hazard plant gives some oxygen directly. Now, I need to remember not to use this. In fact, what I'm going to do right now is go into here, make another one of these, and make another one of these so that I use that. Because we need 30 oxygen. And we need to remember that. Mm-hmm. Stabilizing, thank you. Oh, of course, another dead end. Well, we got one hazard plant and it wasn't even a cave hazard plant. Fortunately, because it wasn't a cave hazard plant, it definitely gave oxygen because all of the outside hazard plants give oxygen. 
Same cave there. Okay, that's just a different entrance. There's the ship. We would have seen oxygen from here. We activated the scanner down there. All right. Well, I see some more uh, condensed carbon crystals that we can't mine. The big crystals we can't mine yet. Is that flowers? That is flowers. We found some oxygen. Yay. We'll just run down this hill because I'm not afraid of breaking my legs in this game, unfortunately. All right, how much did we get? That looks like enough. And hey, look, there's some more right there in the form of plants that want to snap at us. And we are about to suffocate, so I am going to use that life support gel. Boom. And what did we have to make again? That needed 30 oxygen. Uh, oh, yeah, we needed to make a refiner. There we go. Boom. This, I'm not afraid of making here because we can pick it up. It will come with us. So, before we go, let's get this thing started. We're going to put in, we don't even need to use 34 of that. Very efficient fuel there. And we'll put in the ferrite dust, and we'll see. Is it one-to-one? -one? It is one-to-one. -one. That's great. All right, I'm going to begin the process. I'm going to farm up some more ferrite. we got lots here. All of these teeny rocks are pure, are pure ferrite dust. <laughs> so I'm going to get lots real quick, and I'll be able to continue the refining process. It won't take too, too long. And I'll head back to the ship, and that's where we will pick up next time. All right. But until then, everyone, have a good time.